The first mass at the Blessed Stanley Rother Shrine will take place this weekend. It is also the joining of two parishes, Sacred Heart and Holy Angels. I spoke with the Reverend of Holy Angels today about what it's been like closing the parish that's been there nearly 100 years. When the brass doors were opened here on weekends, one thing you rarely found was space. I look forward to it every Sunday, you know, just to see our people. What Father Russell Hughes always found was joy. All the children, there were so many children, just, it was just amazing, all these people. It just kept getting fuller and fuller. What he finds today is rarer still. There's a lot of sadness, it's, it's a weird feeling. Weird to hear silence, weird to see emptiness, pews open, candles unlit. Just a lot of good memories here. It's a, it's a beautiful place. And it's all about the friendships that are established, our faith, our encounters with God, prayers we said together. Prayers said on bended knee, kneelers now unused. This weekend was the last mass at Holy Angels. Well, there's a lot of sadness. Because the parish is kind of like a death of a family. But out of death, new life and new family. This weekend, the parish will join those at Sacred Heart in the new shrine of the Blessed Stanley Rother. A little sad if I come back in here and you know, see that it's no more. But again, an excitement about tomorrow and the future. The room that sat 250 served a parish of 1,500. Most services were standing room only, filled now with anticipation. The excitement, all the possibilities. One of our problems here was always lack of space. Soon, there will be nothing but space here and hope for the one door opening. I think God's going to do a lot of great things in people's lives. Allowing the other to finally close. Father Hughes will be the associate rector at the shrine and will deliver the first mass Saturday night. The altar will be dedicated tomorrow morning and we'll have full coverage all day long right here on News 9. And if you want to see more of Inside the Shrine, we had a great piece yep. yesterday that Carl did. That's on our News 9 app right now and you can see more about it. So we have that thing.